Welcome to Learn PDR Online. I'm Tom and this is another time lapse video of a full repair sped up super quick because what I want to do in this video is really kind of illustrate just how much we move around as a technician, constantly cross referencing our work, cross checking and just moving our head position to really kind of get a good new perspective on the, the line board or reflection board as we work. So I started off by glue pulling this dent and within the first five minutes or so, I'd say 80% of that dent just popped out and then left me with a slight low across the body line of that door. So I warmed up the panel and did a bit of glue pulling here. Now, because of the vehicle that it was, the age of it, I did not want to drill a hole. So a lot of technicians, or perhaps not a lot, but some technicians would choose to open that door, drill a small cap, drill a small hole in there to gain access and then put a cap in there but I really wanted to keep the integrity of this vehicle as it should be and keep it nice and original. So I spent a bit longer on this repair in terms of the tap down. Like I say, 80% of that dent was out within the first five minutes and a bit of tapping around. But I then probably spent about an hour on the blending process and just tapping down any of the little high lows. Stopping for that all important cup of coffee to keep me going. But then as we get back to it, you can see I'm moving my head around left, right, up and down, and I've got the line board below me, so I'm looking from above down for that perspective, and a whole load of tapping in terms of making sure that I'm getting that line back out to where it should be. A little bit more glue pulling, sometimes putting tiny little lows in with the tapping, but also just making sure I'm bringing out that line and the very edge of the frame. But I'm moving around constantly, keep adjusting my line board, keep moving my head, to really cross reference and cross check my work and then working on the other side of the repair to again, just keep cross checking. I finish up with a little polish to remove any little marks on the paint and then we're done. We'll cross reference once again before finishing. So to learn more about blending and finishing techniques, come and visit us at learnpdronline.com. Thanks for watching.